Welcome back to Project Ozone 3 and it's time to be able to, well, fix our problem with steel casings. Steel casings, if you recall, um, have changed the recipe. We could change to use grey plastic from Pneumaticraft. And, well, we don't have any ability to create that because the only way to create it is from liquid plastic. And we don't have any ability to create liquid plastic yet because it's not a simple recipe. Now, it looks like you can create it two different ways in the pack. One is through Magneticraft and the other one is through Pneumaticraft. Of course, you'd expect Pneumaticraft given that that's where the plastic mixer itself comes from. But I thought, because I've done that before in, I want to say, Project Ozone 2, maybe another pack, but I'm almost certain it was Project Ozone 2 or in, uh, Infinity Evolved, one of those two. Um, I did the Pneumaticraft method. I did it from maybe uh, fluid cows. I want to say. Don't think there are. I don't think there are fluid cows in this pack, are there? Fluid cow. Um, there's a fluid cow. Okay, and there's no recipe for it. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, let's ignore that for the moment and have a look at some other methods of trying to get this stuff. So let's get to to liquid plastic. You almost certainly want to go through LPG or something along those kind of lines. And to do that, um, to go from LPG to liquid plastic, you can either use the refinery from Magneticraft or the uh, thermoneumatic processing plant. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, in, from Pneumaticraft itself. So LPG is the same in both cases. And you go backwards through the step, you can go through a refinery and again a thermoneumatic processing plant. In both cases, you go back to a precursor. So in the case of Pneumaticraft, it's fuel. Uh, there is a refinery, however, that will take oil and send it straight into LPG, and that is, again, Pneumaticraft. You generally have to deal with heaters, though. There is like a, a cyclonic heater of some kind uh, in Pneumaticraft, and then refinery in Mag Magneticraft takes hot crude and produces heavy, light, and LPG. This feels like Factorio. Quick plug, um, new series on the new version of Factorio, not at 17, is also on the channel as well if you're interested. Very new graphics, very nice graphics. In any case, in this case, we've all magnetic graphics, we've got hot crude. And hot crude, we can use a hot oil heater to get from regular oil or from crude oil. Okay, so regular oil and crude oil, you can find out in the world. I think I've seen some in the Erebus and uh, some other places too. You could get the, gather them with a pump jack, but we have a laser already. And there are blocks that you can get to extract oil from. So you'll see, uh, I'm not sure if it's in the fluid transposer. It's going to be in something like, uh, in fact, let's just go back one step. It needs to be, I think it's crude, uh, thermal foundation crude. Yeah. So here we have this and we can get crude oil from oil shale, from bitumen or from oil sand. Now, um, those things you can get from a laser with black laser lenses, okay? Uh, even before I actually put those black ones in, we already had some of this stuff in the system. Another tip from someone is that you can put your wireless crafting terminal in one of your bubble slots and uh, assign a key in your config. So I can just press this and just get access to the same thing. I didn't know you could do that. Thanks very much for the tip. Very nice. Anyway, uh, I just press Shift E in my case and E is regular inventory, so I can just uh, switch between them quite easily. And let's just look for oil. Okay, so we can see we've already got some stuff in here. We've got some oil sand, some oil shale. Uh, soil will also unfortunately show up, but there's two different types of oil sand and we don't have to worry about everything else. So let's just take some oil sand and then have to think about what we need to do. We need a magma crucible and then pro we need to basically feed that out into a tank of some kind. And speaking of tanks, Got a few suggestions, a couple of people saying use black hole tanks, unfortunately, uh, because of the, the problem with the quantum tanks that are being removed, presumably in the next version. Um, yeah, they don't exist, at least not in this pack. Black hole tank, nothing. However, there is an infinity tank, which sounds promising. I haven't actually crafted it yet, but infinity tank from Overloaded. I hope that actually is worthwhile of its name. And it uses these nether stars, which we have right now. So why don't we just make an infinity tank too. Let's just see, oops, wrong box. Let's just see if this actually lives up to its name. By infinity, I assume it means two billion because yeah, you can't really represent infinity too well in Java. Oh, well, maybe get Java programmers telling me that you can now, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's have a look. So we want to get, uh, let's just get four of them. And um, let's get six actually, because uh, we're going to be using a few of them and uh, we need diamond blocks. So why don't we just get few of those on the go 
64 of them will do just fine. And then we can just to bring off six of these. Good. So let's see if we can get an infinity tank. We're also going to need a magma crucible. And I'm just going to get a new one because I continue to type into the wrong box. Uh, magma crucible. Because that is going to be needed just to melt this iron shale into something that we can actually uh, use. I.e. the oil. So a uh, few things to build. Haven't completely gone down the line of telling the system how to build everything yet because I just haven't expanded yet the AE2 system and we'll get to that in another episode. I want to keep things nice and fresh so you don't have to worry about uh, too much about uh, things going stale. You know, dealing with too many AE2 uh, episodes in a row will bore the, um, well, will we'll bore, bore you quite a lot. Okay, Magma Crucible basic will do for now. We don't need to be too fast. We don't have too much of this stuff yet. And then we just want to export it into a buffer tank of some kind and then into an ender tank. So let's just get a couple of ender tanks. Uh, and let's just get something to dye them with. Uh, I want to say... Oh, I need to get a cauldron. There we go. And let's just get some oil. Uh, not oil. Um, ink. Will ink work directly? I hope so. Let's just put this down. Uh, have, I got, have I reserved black, black, black yet? Looks like I haven't. Good. Don't want to mix fluids. Oh, will you take care of an ender tank immediately? You will. Oh, love this disassembler. It's great. Right, let's head over to our void world. Uh, there you go. And let's put this up so we can just have it somewhere near. Uh, did I just click on... Oh, wow. I should have just gone upwards. There we go. Uh, we can put it back here. There are more fluid transposers back here. So let's just put one, let's say there, another magma crucible. And we'll just uh, reconfigure this so the output is to the top. And nothing else is going in there. So let's go for the infinity tank. Looks kind of cool, nice textures. Fluid empty. Okay, so if I, I'm just gonna need to yeah, fiddle around the power a little bit. Let's just get some power. Sort of with this thing. Uh, do I have any power in my backpack? I do. Uh, a bit of a conduit. Pop it in there. And there we go. Got some power. So let's just put one in. And that should go across pretty fast. And should have been exported. So crude oil amount 1,000. And yeah, there is... Oh, there it is. Top of the screen. Yeah, it is 2 billion. So exactly as you would normally expect for this kind of thing, we have a tank. And can we actually, we're probably going to need uh, some of the, yeah, some of this pressurized stuff to just pull that upwards into a, uh, a tank above it, because there doesn't seem to be any controls for exporting this stuff. So let's just put our tank above that. There we go. And we can always move this later. It doesn't have to be here. Uh, insert and extract. And all is active. There we go. So we've got crude oil available. And now I'll just put all this in here. We can just process in the background. From the crude oil then, we need to then go and craft some other stuff. So if we're going to go via magnetic craft, we're going to need to take that into LPG. So let's just look up LPG first in this. Let me just add that as a, a shortcut. And then uh, let me just also grab crude oil and do that as a shortcut. That one. And then we just go from here. So to create LPG, uh, in fact, we need to go to crude oil first. So here's what we've got. So we can right click it and decide what we want to do with it. So to heat it into hot crude, we're going to require an oil heater blueprint so we need to create a basic coil and some paper okay uh let's just go for this then oil heater and how uh, do i already have those things oh should be do i have a restonia crystal i thought i'd made some okay it's just redstone if i remember correctly yes it is and you can make blocks straightforwardly with it so we can just grab i don't know uh convert over Let's just make a few blocks. 64 should do, give, given the amount of redstone we actually have at the moment. And let's go and uh, convert that over. I should move my um, atomic reconstructor over to the other base. It's kind of generically useful, and I probably will be doing a lot of these machines, but um, once I rearrange the, the correct way to root power and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just drop this here. And will you convert over? Yep, you will. And then we can just decide how many of those we want. Uh, we don't need very many at all, so that will do. And our oil heater. 
requires us to just make one of these. And there we go. We can get a blueprint. Now, when you craft blueprints, uh, you place them on the ground or wherever you actually want the apparatus. And then you can um, use that to, to basically uh, build the items. It gives you, you know, a visual layout. Uh, what do we actually want this though? Because um, this is all going to be an oil processing area, so we should probably put it somewhere. Um, I don't really have anyone around here. In fact, let's, let's just let's just get rid of this astral sorcery stuff for the moment until we go back to it. There we go. This will do. So we've got the ender tank here to be able to do stuff with, and we should be fine there. So let's just take a look at what the oil heater requires. Um, can we put you down there? Yep. Okay. So invalid block found air expected support column. And we basically have to build this thing up as a multi-block, I'm sure. Uh, and that's fine. So, support column. Let's see what that takes to build. Support columns um, are going to require light tungsten. And that is part of magnetic craft. So, we need to think about tungsten ore. Uh, from tungsten ingots, which just goes straight into the compactor. And tungsten ingots uh, we get by various methods. I'm almost sure I have some, though. So, I don't think we need to do too much to it. Uh, yeah, there's tungsten ore from Pluto, but I don't I don't think we actually want to have to go there to get this stuff. Is there not another source of tungsten ore? Well, there is. Let's see what's in the system. Tungsten? Please have some. Yes, we got 140 tungsten ore, and we are getting it from uh, uh, X Nihilo, so it is sort of sieveable from something else. And let's just take in a stack of that, and let's go and drop this into what I think... Can we actually double this using our own furnace? Uh, it does have the ability to double ores. Will you produce two? Uh, yes, you will. Okay, so we can get tungsten. And then we need to convert that into plates. So let's just see if this tungsten will just compact up. Looks like it will. And there we go. Light tungsten plates, which is what we just saw for the support column. Okay. And the middle is just a piece of chisel stone. So this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna be revered very quickly. Uh let's just get uh in fact any maybe any stone will do, hopefully. Stone. Uh let's put you away, put you in the middle, and there we go. That'll do. Now let's see we'll see let's see what this actually means. It'd be nice if it actually showed you which one it was looking for. You can sort of see it here. Visually, just about, I'm not sure how that's going to show up on YouTube, but it looks like all the bottom blocks are meant to be support columns. Okay, so if they are, then I'm going to need more support columns. In fact, I'm just going to need another four, and I should have already had that, that in, in the system. So there's another four. And one, two, three, four. Uh, where we go. Um, invalid block orientation. Uh, orientation. They all look the same on the blueprint. Does it indicate which one? Is it one of these? Oh, whoops. Sorry. This, uh, this tool is entirely too uh, too good at that. Um, are you that way? Expected orientation axis Y. Well, is this not axis Y? Hmm. So it's orientation axis X. Is that a different block? Yeah, let me just figure this out off camera and then once we have that done, we'll uh, we'll come back. Okay, so there are, there are a couple of bugs here. Number one is um, you have to build it in the order that it specifies. It, it doesn't really allow flexibility. It requires these to be oriented. So for example, this one, I had to click on this block's side here to get it to build that way, just like a log. Uh, in regular Minecraft, except what I did originally was build all around the outside and then I couldn't place the middle. No matter which orientation I tried to place this middle in, the even one that looked exactly like this, it said no. It, it's, <coughs> it would either say it's Y axis, if it's like this, where there's a cross on the top, where you click down, or it said it was Z. If I placed it this way, it said Z. If I placed it this way, it said Z. Um, but then it was saying it needed it in X. And there's no way to actually get it right. So please assemble this in the order that it specifies these blocks in. And once you do that, it, everything works together. It's like that one, that one, that one, then the middle, then this one, and then th that way as well, as well. So now it's asking for two more support columns. 
in the uh, y-axis direction and hopefully this one shouldn't have much of an issue and uh, there we are it's asking for yeah again it's building in the same order so even though i have more support columns it's probably expecting me to get this right so uh, in this particular order so corrugate iron machine block <laughs> let's see let's see what we need to do for that so corrugate iron machine block requires some more tungsten which we've got plates of iron zinc and stone now i think we already processed some zinc very early in the mod pack uh if not we should have some in here there's some zinc uh there's only 24 left but uh that may do it let's just push them through and that will go straight into our system and then we'll just get the rest of them well the rest of the full stack of machine plates that i put through here we should be able to put that into our system as well and then just request the corrugate stuff okay and yep we can just shift click in and this has got two layers of it so we may as well make uh, i don't know 20 of that stuff and let's go and pop them down do they need to be oriented does not say that they orient so well, let's just pop them down and um he expects a, a support column or y-axis was expecting that near the front let's put that away yep then it wants uh, no more iron machine blocks there and there and now another support column y two more and then i'm going to need more support columns but again y and it's going to ask me no doubt for corrugate machine and then let's just actually make the um support column Let's just make another four of those. We're probably going to need to make multiple of these machines, so I should just make multiple of these. Uh, but we should be fine for now. There we go. And uh, let's just put in our iron blocks. Last support column. And then two more iron blocks. Okay, as far as that's concerned, that should be complete. And there we go. We get like a giant machine. In fact, this looks very much like an industrial foregoing uh, machine for, um, well, one of the machines downstairs, in fact. Does it look like those identically? It's close. It's close to the metal energy confuser. But, uh, hmm, yes. So this one should be able to take one thing and heat it up. In this case so we're probably gonna need some power i would assume and can we just stick a spectacle on here um let's look for coil of some kind spectacle and uh, will you accept power from anywhere or is this you know sided let's uh, see if you will uh can't right click on you maybe it'll only connect in certain places those look more like inputs and outputs so yeah uh, is there anything underneath no okay so maybe i have to connect a regular conduit to this and we'll just put a battery or something on that uh there you're not going to connect you're not going to connect <laughs> none of them are going to connect maybe they just need a heater block or something along those kind of lines and eh, we'll see okay so uh, now uh, we're going to need to look at some other stuff. I'm not going to show the building of the other items. We just need to go through and uh, do the same thing. So um, let's just look through for what we needed. So to get to LPG, we needed the refinery from Magnetic Craft. That goes from Hot Crude, which is what this thing makes, goes to LPG. And LPG in another refinery then goes to plastic. So we're going to need two refineries which is presumably quite straightforward. Iron stiff and mesh, iron plate, that all looks straightforward. So let's just go for a refinery. And I will just show the crafting of this bit. Uh, do we have everything we need? Not quite. Iron stiff and mesh. We can reuse up some of the flint ones from previous. And we need one blueprint. Well, in fact, we'll need two because they get used up. But we've got the first one. Let's see how big this thing is. Uh, let's assume we we'll put it there. Looks like another three by three. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, and the support columns again. Oh my, they're all the same blocks all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need to do some more planning and some more crafting. But not on camera. See you in a minute or two. 
Okay, so the electricity won't let us direct attach to these things. So we're actually going to need connectors. I've put one here. It's very simple to actually craft them in eight. I'm going to just need to create some copper coils. So I'm going to need to convert that with the other stuff. Uh, in fact, now it's one per for each of these. So I'm going to need uh, five because we need eight copper coil. And with copper coil and a titanium ingot, we should be able to make copper coil. Why that needs titanium? Who knows? But we have copper coil. Now I just want to see if this will actually attach to an energy cell. So I'm going to just put that, uh, let's say, here for now. And uh, the back should be an output already. Yep. So let's see if we can connect an electric connector from you. Uh, that doesn't quite. Oh, it is that way around. We expect it to be the other way around. Huh, let me. That's just me. And uh, where's my copper coil? So, yep. Shift right click and then right click and connected by like uh, industrial. What does we call it? <laughs> and, um, yep. So now you providing power. No, you're not. And um, why aren't you, in fact? Because these things are connected and that is outputting power. Or at least it can output RF power. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, maybe we need something else. That's not great. Uh, let me just take a look in the book. The book you just craft with a magnet and a book. So here it is. Electricity can be transmitted through electrical connectors, electrical cables, and electrical poles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't really say a lot much else. Okay. Uh, multi box and there we go oil heater machine allows us to heat up fluids to the boiling point doesn't require fuel electricity oh, okay so it uses external heat sources and accept, accepts heat from the bottom fine so we may have to just uh, use something to heat this thing up what counts as a heat source though is it only internal to its mod or is it anything yeah let's just take that off for a second oh did that destroy uh, that probably just, oh no, the cable came back, the coil, coil came back, fine. So I've already got some of our crude oil exported into here. I'll turn it off for the moment, but uh, yep, yeah, we got crude oil. So now I need to just find this mod's uh, heating. Let me take a look through that. And there is an electric heater block, so why don't we just take a look what it takes to craft that. It's going to need some more copper wires for two of them. And it needs three per one of these, so that'll be for two heaters, it will be obviously six. And uh, yeah, so we're pretty much converting them one to one in however many of these we make. So if we made nine of these to match the bottom footprint of this, uh, nine uh, is 27. So we need 27 copper wires, which needs, uh, which means I need 27. Uh, where's my shears? Did I? Oh, there we go. Shears. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to need 27 of these. Uh, actually, I need 28 because we can't do uh, we can't do odd numbers of crafting. And that also needs tungsten and a lot of it. Yeah, I'm out of <laughs> the two. Uh, I think we have some more tungsten in the system. Uh, I'm going to, need to probably go and figure out how to craft more if we run out. But uh, 14 should do for now. And that can go in here. That should be converted over into tungsten. I've got some up here where I prepared earlier. And then we'll use this to, to craft this up. So we want these fine copper wires. Uh, in our other system. Find copper wires. And it needs tungsten in the system. And there we go, 28. Fine. So then we can use that to craft electric heaters. And how many of those will it make? Uh, it needs to put all these in the system. Nine. And then we'll be able to put this underneath, hopefully. Let's just move that out of the way. And three, four, five, six. Not sure if it needs a three by three like this, but uh, it would make a nice amount of sense if it did. And presumably these do actually need an electric connector. So let's just grab you. And let's put it on the middle for now. And is my block still upstairs? Let's just grab this battery block. And let's put you uh, right here. That'll do. And then just connect this up. Where's the connectors gone? Ah, there they are, my inventory. All right, are you on by default? 
Are you consuming any power? You're still not consuming any power. Honestly, I'm providing you power. Why are you not working? All right, continuing frustrations. Okay, this took a little bit of working out because the manual isn't actually up to date, this, this thing. So yeah, first of all, don't craft the electric heaters. They don't work. Uh, or rather, they only really work with the default power that comes from Magnetic Craft itself, which is terrible. <laughs> By comparison to what we have, anyway, uh, may not be terrible. So uh, for, yeah, just throw those away. You don't need them. Create RF heaters instead, which you might expect from the name is much better. Just attach those straight to your batteries and they will work fine. I did try on this side to see if they were actually needed here. They're actually not. So let me just take those back out and these. And we don't need any of that either. Whoops. So on this side, the refinery, that doesn't need heat at all. It, well, it does, but not from, unfortunately, not directly from a heater. You need steam for a refinery. Yeah, I know it's a little odd, but uh, well, in fact, it's not odd in, in real life, but yep, yeah, that's fine. So we need to insert steam. Now, this is where the manual goes off the rails a bit because it talks about steam boiler, but there is no actual block called a steam boiler. It's just called a boiler and it's not like a typical block. You have to just sort of rig all of this together and it should sort of work ish. So to do that, put another rare heater on the bottom and then put your boiler block on the top. Uh, which is made from a small tank. So if we go in here, small tank, which is made from just regular glass, and then feed in water to one side, and then it, it's sided so you can pull whichever one you want out. And in this case, we're pulling steam out of here, so it's converting over, and it's basically converting over with this uh, this heater block underneath. So in here, in the refinery now, we're taking the crude, hot crude, which is coming out the top of the uh, of this block. Uh, what, what do you call it again? Um, oil heater? something like that. Uh, yeah, it comes at the top. So we're feeding that down the back into the back here. And then you should get three separate outputs from each so part of this refraction, uh, refractionating column. I assume it's a, there's the equivalent of a refractionating column anyway. So if we have a look on the inside of this thing, we should see we're getting heavy oil, light oil, and more importantly for us, LPG. Now we probably have to get rid of both of these or at least tank them up somehow. So we should think maybe just use more of those infinite infinity tanks to do that. Uh, will they automatically output or do we need to pull those out? Let's just actually put that in. Are you full of anything? No. So we're going to have to pull them out. Again, that is not a problem. Uh, let's just put them um, like this. Okay. And then we'll just attach, um, for argument's sake, some pressurized fluid conduits to each one of them. And then the top one, which is what we're interested in initially, we'll pull that. And I was going to get LPG. Good. So LPG is the next stage. And the LPG will then get converted across into... Um, there we go. Need another refinery. <sighs> so that's going to be uh, fun to actually craft all those blocks again. But we need another refinery. And we're going to need you know, this more steam. Now, I'm not sure whether this actually produces enough steam for this. Maybe? I mean, yeah, it does sort of convert. Let me just take some of this stuff out, actually. Let me just turn this on. Whoops. Uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. And a little bit of crafting later and some very messy cabling later. Yeah, um, I'll tidy it up later, honestly. Uh, we've got our LPG being output through a liquid transfer node just so it easily doesn't mess up with my existing Ender IO stuff. And it just goes into the bottom input of the back of this other refinery, which is back to back with the original one. And then in here, we're getting some steam from the same source. It is perfectly fine. It will get to both of these um, because probably I'm just not supplying this. Yeah, we just don't have a lot of... Uh, a huge amount of crude oil to get started with. But then this is going to come over here into the bottom of this one, and we're getting steam here. And uh, we did have some um, LPG, but we've processed it all. And then it's going to go into three different things. So fluid, this one says empty, but it was liquid plastic. This one says naphtha, this one says natural gas. So again, we may want to have a couple more of these infinity tanks. Oh, look, we've crafted a couple more infinity tanks. Look at that. And uh, we can just output those straight away into these tanks. And we could later extract them if we wanted to, but for now, let's just set them to always active. Just so this thing stays empty and doesn't get blocked up. And then over here, we have our plastic mixer we crafted episodes ago. And now in the bottom of that, we have liquid plastic. 
That means I can also now get a few things. So let's just see if there's any poppies. There is, there's a full stack. So we can just take those and convert them into a stack of rose red. We've got some cactus green, a full stack of those, and some lapis, which we can graft a stack of those. And then we can just click them all in. And then we can select our color, if I remember rightly. Do we need a specific thing or let's see, redstone behavior. Don't need to worry about that one. Um, in fact, let's just say high signal for the moment. Do I need power or heat? Requires or produces heat. Place a block that generates heat. Thank to this. Next to a vortex tube fast. Uh, don't really like that, but we can use lava. Okay. It's slow, apparently, but I don't care that much. Uh, so, yeah, let's just actually craft a little bit of... Uh, well, not, <laughs> let me let, let, don't use snow blocks. <laughs> I use those for the thermal pile. They, they aren't going to be too good if you use those to try and contain some lava. Just It's just a bit of an idea. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. We could put a torch under it, but a lava block would do just fine. I'll just grab some from down here. I could take one of these to be honest, but I'll just leave them alone. Whoops. Oops, if you don't uh, accidentally double tap the space bar. One bit of lava. And let's see if you will actually heat or if you need heat. Oops. Uh, I'm going to put the liquid plastic back in. Yeah, and there's the temperature. Okay, so we are going to need uh, the item, I guess, to actually indicate what this should actually craft. No, no, we can just select here. So gray plastic it is. And lock the selection. Uh, is this because I've set this not to do anything? Always. It's pretty just black plastic. No, I want gray plastic, please. Not black. Take one out. Gray. There's no problems. It's got heat. Ah, oh, you probably just don't have enough to select another one. There we go. We'll keep it locked. And then that should just produce some gray plastic whenever it gets more liquid plastic, which is now dependent upon <laughs> plastic. Fantastic. Yeah, fair enough. It's now dependent upon us getting crude oil. So let's see if we've got any more from our lasers uh, while we were doing this. So oil. Yeah, we did. So we've got uh, plenty of that and we can just use that to be melted up and then put into here, essentially. And let's go from from that, really. No need to do anything else. So to put those into place, we just go over to our void world. For now, we could probably move that other equipment over here, to be honest. Uh, wherever we finally put this refinery kind of stuff is fine. We can go over here and then we can just decide to smelt all of you. We go straight into crude, which should start processing back in our other world. So, yeah, we've now got plastic, which means we've got steel casings back. Once this thing starts producing again, that is. Uh, here it is. It should be coming in fairly soon, unless I've just cut this off. Oh, I did cut it off. Yeah, there is actually some in here. So I do need to just set insert. And there goes the crude oil. Heat is below. We've got this thing to 600 degrees Celsius. So it should already be producing hot crude. Hot crude should now be going through here. Yep, it's being processed with the steam. This one should be being processed. Yeah, LPG. And the LPG should now be going out. Uh, sorry, uh, the LPG should be converted into uh, liquid plastic, which should now be starting to build up. Yep, it's about to hit 1000 and hopefully it will produce a great piece of gray plastic when it does. Yeah, there we go. So we've got gray plastic. Now, in order to get this all con to continue, we need to get more of that oil shale or we need to go and find some oil in the world. And there is a way to do that. But for now, because I've got the lasers, because the energy is essentially unbounded, all I really need to do is maybe put an exporter over onto that magma crucible automatically from our system just to dump stuff into it and have us produce pretty much uh, indefinite supply of oil. Although, you know, it may take um, a little time to actually build up. There's seven buckets of oil left. We want to be producing more oil than we're actually using, of course, for the grey plastic, but that... that, that uh, Plastic mixer will eventually fill up and we won't need to actually get any more. So all well, all good. And I think we're pretty much done with that with the build. It's a little bit messy, but uh, it does actually work. And we've got plastic. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I know there's a lot of uh, <laughs> me failing at building Magnetic Craft at the start of it. 
unfortunately that's the nature of the mod it's it's um it's actually discontinued now i think i think no one else is taking maybe maybe someone else will take it over but it was included in this pack and it's sort of fun to actually try and build these just be aware of those points that i made about orienting the blocks in the correct direction for the support columns other than that use rf heaters and you'll be fine and uh, you won't need any more heating blocks for the refineries they don't need that at all so we can just put the floor back uh, around like that while i tell you to click on the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the episode and subscribe share if you haven't click on the bell for notifications and do check out the channel for the factorio play that's about to get started and uh, we'll see you next episode for some more project Horizon three i think not quite sure what i'm going to do next maybe another ae2 episode or maybe botania to get started either way we'll see you next time as always, guys, thanks for watching.